Shafil Halim was a very liberating experience on the whole when it came to uh, my college life. Since it was a transition from my uh, college in Bangalore, which was in Christ University, to Shafil Halim. So it was quite a big change and a good change. I must admit I was quite scared because it was a new place, I was traveling all by myself. But the sort of comfort I got from the student support team in Shafil Hallam, it really helped emotionally a lot. The pickup service we had at the airport to finding accommodation, as I was not, I did not have a place to live. So I was there to find a house. So the entire process was taken care of very well. Shafil uh, is really, student-friendly city. In a lot of ways it reminded me of my hometown Bangalore because of the, um, the greenery and the parks and people in general who are very friendly to students and the sort of facilities Shafil Hallam had within and outside the university. That's where I got to nurture my dance and also got to teach so that was quite supportive for Shafil Hallam to do that. After I finished my studies, I had a job offer in Bangalore to, with a startup company called Trip Villas. And that whole transition that I, from UK to India and then having a job immediately, it was quite a lot to take, but I sort of got into it quite quickly because uh, I was looking forward to it. As I was working with uh, Trip Villas as a marketing consultant, I was also balancing a career in dancing in the evening. I used to train and teach in weekends. Uh, so that sort of made me realize my passion towards dance. I'm training in dance and intensive for two, three years as well and collaborating with the tourism sector in different parts of India to start off with Aurangabad, which is a really rich historical place. The first uh, major advice from a personal perspective is just go with an open mind. It makes life easier. Uh, you're open to more learnings in your life. So when you have that sort of perspective, a more wider perspective, when you're entering into something really big, it's always good to go with an open mind. Being an international student in the UK, it really broadened uh, my perspectives about the world, about small things like culture to what people eat. So that really intrigued me as a travel student that really uh, intrigued me about the way people spoke and languages and cultures. So that definitely was one of the best experiences, really enriching and would stay as memories.